Okay. Alright, so yeah, I think Scanner does have first name. And he just unban- <laughs> Alright. Oh, no, plus you have first name. Okay. Uh, Skyner lands a good Edelus stage. Oh, okay, so they go into Merchant Port. Merchant Port is good for Edelus. Um, Skynard is brown Edelus, Plushy is white Edelus. There it is. He lays ice right over where Plushy or Skynard ice goes. Alright, so I think we're going to see a lot of, a lot of blue things here. Nice. <laughs> Lots of blue. <laughs> so, Plushy, playing his, his Edelus, um, Plushy really likes to do uh, more optimal Edelus stuff. He'll do like the ice trap punishes, he'll dash attack and do mix ups. And when I play Skynerd, he, uh, he really likes to set ice and jab a lot. Oh, that was cool. So, <laughs> Skynerd was DIing straight in, and he might be dead. He is dead. I don't, I don't know if he got dunked or if he just was too low. Too low. Oh, he dunks on him. Alright. There's... There's that Alice. This seems to be an ice war right now. They're just full turn. They're playing like it's Splatoon. Oh! Off stage. Oh, he's yeah, dead. He didn't yeah, even. Okay, that was weird. Yeah. So typically with Edelus's uh, eat, you're supposed to just like di straight out. I think that's what Doug's told me. I think Doug's lied to me. Early, early percents you di away, and then um, at lower or at higher percents off stage, you want to go kind of down so you can get close to the stage. I think you're lying to me. Oh, Skyner's switching to some new one. Let's go back to it. Okay. He's using a different color though, so I think he's got this in the bag. Okay, so, uh, Spirit Tree. I hate this stage, um, but I can see this being a good Edelus stage because, uh, the top last one is extremely short. Yeah, so Dacus stuff will kill really early, and also, uh, Edelus won't really have an issue setting ice on this stage because the platforms aren't really in, in the way that much. Okay, so Skyrim takes the first stock pretty good. Uh, takes that one there. <laughs> the back air chains in armor. See, I don't like how, how far he went with the back air chains, because so uh, he ended up wasting his armor. If he just like shorted it a little bit and didn't go for the extra one or two, he would have back on stage with armor and put Lucky in a really bad position. And now he's getting dunked on. He texts, and Skyrim messes up the timing. Now Plushy has armor. And they both have armor. <laughs> okay, so Skyner just kind of up in the middle of the stage for some reason. Oh, that was cool. And now Plushy has armor again. Bear? There's the back air. Oh, he didn't cover. He tried to jab him instead of covering the roll up. I haven't seen a lot of ice parries here, which is kind of crazy because they both seem to be really, really, uh, like, willy nilly with their ice. You know? I, think, I think they're going for really aggressive approaches. Yeah. I'd like to see one of them just, like, slow it down. I guess Plushy doesn't really need to, he's in the lead, but, like, or I guess he could now. But, but Skynerd could really just, like, slow it down a little bit and find Harry Ice and come out So much, so much yelling at the sky. See, this is a route. Okay. See, look at how much Skynerd is using ice. I, this is about where I would start to slow down and try and just parry the ice. Yeah, instead of jumping, go for ice and see if you can fall over. Oh, this is everything. Let's see, let's see up there. Ooh, covers the back, covers the roll this time. Uh, Plushy going for a random down smash. I think he. I think he thought he had armor or something. That, 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 that down smash definitely would have worked if he had armor. 
breaks the armor on Skynerd and loses a trade to an F smash. And like that, it's 1 1. Bushy changing up his controls a little bit. I guess he's used to Smash Stick. Oh, so the whole time he was playing with the wrong controls. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that might. Uh, that yeah. Might you. So I guess his right stick was set to nothing, which, which would be an issue. Okay, right. we're, go <laughs> we're going to probably the best out of the stage. Um, I would argue. Well, it's, it's best. It's best against the more uh, mid to low level players because like carry ice. Yeah. But uh, against against uh, more experienced players that actually know to parry ice, blazing hideout would be a better option. Blazing hideout would be a much better option. Yeah, it's really hard to contest ice on Blair. Blazing hideout. You can, oh, that was a really the, ballsy. The last ones are pretty average, so he won't be living too long, but he won't be dying too. Long. There's a Dacus, and that takes it. That takes the first shot. Thirty-eight percent on Plushy, not very much. Fifty-four now is going to combo. Again, I'd like to see Plushy or, 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 or you know, one of them just like kind of slow down a little bit and try and carry ice and get punished that way. Oh, that was really good. And look at how he got the ice before he went off stage. That was super, like, optimal. Oh, okay. Fair case for the top of the second one. Interrupt the ice with this because I broken. See, one interesting thing about this is that I didn't, I didn't realize that the, the ice overlaps. I thought that if... Ooh, he gets hit, 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 hit by the iron. Uh, uh, I thought that if ice was laid down, was, there was still ice in both. There was both the ice in one spot. But it overlaps, so so the ice war is actually really important. He's armored. Oh, it's him. Oh, he might be dead. No. Okay. If he had if he had bad DI, he would be dead. Oh, he has that really. Uh, I guess that was technically good DI, right? I don't know. Goes for a hammer. He ain't Gus. <laughs> Goes for a Gus hammer. <laughs> oh, there's enough smash that takes the set. Alright, Skynerd pops off in the wrong way. And now I have to go play Skynerd.